dozen hungry children were found living in filthy conditions. Seeing them walking around like that, it was, it, was, it was hard to see. One of them is under investigation for training children to commit school shootings. 11 children have been rescued from a school shooting training camp in New Mexico. But media reports conflict. Does it have something to do with radical Islam? I'm Anders Hagstrom, and these are the facts. The New York Times reported that five adults at the compound were accused of training children to commit school shootings, but made no mention of their radical motives. The Washington Post, on the other hand, reported that the adults were suspected of extreme Muslim beliefs. But what did law enforcement say? That the two men who ran the compound were heavily armed radical Muslims. Pictures of the compound look more like a terrorist training camp from the Middle East than something you'd expect to see in New Mexico. And that's because that's exactly what it was. Police describe the children as looking like, quote, third world country refugees, not only with no food or fresh water, but with no shoes or personal hygiene and basically dirty rags for clothing. Police also found the body of a three-year-old boy buried outside the compound. What's even worse is that one of the men is the son of a prominent Muslim imam from Brooklyn, who is suspected but never indicted of assisting in the 1993 bombing of the World Trade Center. And what's more, the imam has been a longtime mentor for none other than Linda Sarsour. What part of I don't want you to video record me we're doing an interview. Sarsour has made a name for herself as being both a Muslim and a feminist by starting the Women's March. You have fascists and white supremacists and Islamophobes reigning in the White House. Since then, she's fought off accusations of anti-Semitism and sympathy to more radical factions within Islam. My favorite person in this room, because that's mutual, is Imam Siraj Wahaj. But the New York Times wasn't alone in shying away from this terror camp's religious ties. NBC News, CBS, Time Magazine, and CNN also neglected to mention its ties to radical Islam. And now let's go to your comments about last week's video about Antifa. Bar you get to, cause I get to. There you go. Oh, 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 Alright, Michael Hardman. Michael Hardman said, I'm not even gonna try to read that. It's just, it's just totally incoherent. Michael Ford says, at least in an Antifa attack, no one is going to get hurt. Should be good for comedy hour. Yeah, Michael. But unfortunately, arms that are too weak to break a window with a hammer are still pretty good at throwing Molotov cocktails. Hold on. I'm supposed to be mad at people punching Nazis? Hold your breath on that one. Actually, Raquel, the guy who got punched was a Democrat, and the only instance I've seen of a Nazi getting punched is this one. Kind of a simple. <laughs> Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, or check out our friends at American Voices and the Daily Caller homepage. Thanks for watching again. I'm Anders Hagstrom, and these are the facts.